To die to all self is to relinquish conscious awareness. To that light which shines only as divine darkness. For that dark light is eternal void. It is the devourer of all selfhood and I-ness and me-ness. Both finite and infinite. That dark void is the light of eternity. It is all without distinction. Infinitely full in potential and expression. infinitely void in its substance and ground. Is itself the material existence of all created things? Neither here nor there stands always before your eyes. It moves from an unmoved place. Without cause or reason, but always in perfection, It is grace not given or received. But grace as it is unto itself. In that death of all self, we neither give nor receive, but become what eternally is. To die into that dark light is an annihilating death to all selfhood. but a birth into the ever-abiding ground beyond all distinction. And that ground moves as divine knowledge and love incarnate. When there is divine knowledge and love, the ever-abiding ground shines with brightness. And where there is not true knowledge and love, that ground shines not and is subdued by egotism like the sun during an eclipse. So let us humanly abide in a humble and loving heart, 
never forsaking the divine knowledge beyond all distinction, nor the infinitely loving heart of God which is our own.